Ever since I was a child, spanning into my adulthood, there's been one piece of constructive feedback I've consistently received, and it's not flattering. I've been told repeatedly that I sound condescending when I talk to people. Recently, this came up again, and it was delivered by someone on my team. And it hit hard, but it also triggered a moment of self-realization. Despite what feels like a lifetime of effort, I still haven't mastered the art of humility in my interactions. This revelation was both a blow, but also a call to go deeper into the root causes and potential remedies for this persistent negative trait. And、to prepare for this podcast, I had to ask myself, why is it that I still struggle with this? For me, it's been about the fear of being undervalued, which has led me to overcompensate through speech or behavior. Well, thankfully, that path to change, right, is really about embracing what we're learning today, hold and give a ra. Hold's call to humility. And Givara's challenge to exercise restraint—that is going to ensure that I harness my strengths not for arrogance, but for measured, thoughtful leadership. Shalom, friends. Welcome back to Forty Nine Days and Forty Nine Ways. I'm Shalomia, your host. I thought it would be good to start off today's episode with some vulnerability because. Even though I'm the teacher of this 49-day journey, I'm also the student alongside all of you. The title of this episode is "Humility is Key to Transcendence." So here's a crash course on why hold within Gevara are two characteristics today: create transcendence. As a quick refresher, hold is the ability to be grateful. It's about Splendor. It's about yielding and recognizing that our strength and authority come from Father Yahweh. It's about humility. Givara represents strength and discipline and judgment. It teaches the soul self control and the courage to face its darkest aspects. Its real focus is on how we master ourselves rather than overpowering others. Taken together, Hod and Gevara advocate for restraint and judgment that is aligned with Father Yahweh's will, and a humility filled with respect for Yahweh. So, how does this lead to transcendence? Well, transcendence is about the ability to rise above or go beyond our limitations. That is only possible if you are humble. Which is not a sign of weakness, but a profound submission to Father Yahweh's ordering. So today, as you focus on hold within Gevara, take a moment to reflect on your talents and achievements, and offer thanks to Yahweh for these gifts. And consider how you can continue to use them to serve and enrich the lives of others. And express gratitude in your prayers. For the order Yahweh instills in your life, because that acknowledgement of His beauty and discipline is the structure that brings your everyday experiences into fruition. May your discipline to be humble be the key that unlocks the gates of transcendence. Shalom. Baruch Ata Yahweh Yahenu Melech Haolam Asher Kiddushanu B'Mitzvatav Vitzivanu Al Sefirat Haomer. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our mighty one, King and ruler of the universe, who has set us apart by your mitzvot and instructed us concerning the counting of the Omer. Today is twelve days, which is one week and five days of the Omer. May the merciful one restore unto us the service of the Beit Hamikdash to its place speedily in our days. Amen. For the choir master, a song with instrumental music, a psalm. May Yahweh be favorable to us and bless us. 
May he make his countenance shine upon us forever. That your way be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. The nations will extol you, O Yahweh. All the nations will extol you. The nations will rejoice and sing for joy, for you will judge the peoples justly and guide the nations on earth forever. The peoples will extol you, O Yahweh. All the peoples will extol you, for the earth will have yielded its produce. And Yahweh, our mighty one, will bless us. Yahweh will bless us, and all from the farthest corners of the earth shall fear him. We implore you, by the great power of your right hand, Yahshua HaMashiach, release the captive. Accept the prayer of your people. Strengthen us, purify us, Yasam one. Mighty one, we beseech you, guard as the apple of the eye those who seek your oneness. Bless them, cleanse them, bestow upon them forever your merciful righteousness. Powerful, Kadosh set apart one, in your abounding goodness, guide your congregation. Only and exalted one, turn to your people who are mindful of your kadoshness. Accept our supplication and hear our cry. You who know secret thoughts, blessed be the name of the esteem of his kingdom forever and ever. Master of the universe, you have commanded us through Moshe, your servant, to count Sefirat HaOmer in order to purify us from our evil and uncleanness. As you have written in your Torah, you shall count for yourselves from the day following the day of rest, from the day on which you bring the Omer as a wave offering. The counting shall be for seven full weeks until the day following the seventh week shall you count 50 days so that the souls of your people Yisrael may be cleansed from their defilement. Therefore, may it be your will, Yahweh our Mighty One, and the Mighty One of our scriptural forefathers, that in the merit of the Sefirat HaOmer, which we and I have counted today, the blemish that we and I have caused in the Sefirah, Hod Shebegovura, be rectified, and we and I may be purified and set apart with your Kadoshness. May abundant bounty thereby be bestowed upon all the worlds. May it rectify our nefesh, our ruach, and our neshama from every baseness and defect. And may it purify and set us apart with your kadoshness. Amen.